Hello viewers, uh, today is my first tutorial. Uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, previous videos which were based on software installation. So this is the very first tutorial of me and uh, if you uh, really like this videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel as well as uh, please like. So uh, today I am going to start the topic that is the KS test, that is the Kolmogorov Smirnov test. Now these tests uh, are classified under the uh, computer simulation modeling uh, programs. So there are many algorithms which are uh, going to come as well as today I am going to cover the algorithm as you can see here and on my next video I will give a, a brief uh, example, uh, one example on this test. So to get it started, uh, first this KS test is used to define or to test the hypothesis of the numbers that is to uh, determine whether the numbers are uniform or not. So for that first we define the hypothesis for testing the uniformity. Now in this there are two cases that is the H0 and the H1. Now H0 is for testing the uh, uniformity that the numbers are uniform. This uh, corresponding sign represents that Ri, Ri is a random number, I stands for the smallest integer as you can see here, I is the smallest integer. Now H0 is the hypothesis such that Ri is uniformly distributed over the domain that is 0, 1 and H1 is the hypothesis that Ri is not independently uniformly distributed in the interval 0, 1. This is the first step. This step remains for uh, same for further few algorithms. Now second step is to arrange the given set of numbers whether it is 5 numbers or 10 numbers to arrange these numbers in the increasing order that is from smaller to big numbers that is uh, in the ascending order first 0 then 1 then 2 like that so for that we have uh, R1, R2 up till Rn and Ri is the very first smallest integer. Next step 3 is to compute D plus and D minus. D plus is the case test uh, what you can say the parameter that is the maximum and the minimum. So first you calculate D plus as the max of i upon n minus ri. Now i stands for the numbers that is from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If 5 numbers are there then it will be from 0 to 5 upon n the total numbers subtracted from the ri that is the total numbers which you have defined here and that i lies in the range from 1 to n. Similarly for d minus you will calculate the max of this ri first minus this i minus 1 upon n. Now care should be taken that you should not repeat this again that is here it is i by n minus ri so you should not write it ri minus i by n this i minus 1 upon n that is for d minus and it also lies in this range. Next is the fourth step that is you have to compute this d. Now d is this calculated d plus and d minus. Now you have to determine which value is bigger that is the max of d plus and d minus. Now after you compute this move on to the fifth step that is to determine the critical value d alpha for specified level of significance alpha. Now in this problem they will give you a specified value of alpha such as 0.05. So from the statistical tables you have to determine which value is in that range. And the final step is you have to compare this computed d value with this d alpha from the statistical table. If this value of d which you have computed is greater than this threshold that is the LOS it means that your hypothesis that is H0 is rejected and to state that these numbers are not uniform else if this uh, hypothesis that is D is less than D minus it is meant that H0 is accepted that means these numbers are uniform and therefore we accept this test. So this is the KS test basically hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video